Hi there, this is Steve. This is uh, Monday morning on the uh, 28th. I wanted to uh, show a little demo on this um, spreadsheet journal that I have just so you can get an idea. If you kind of wanted to do this earlier, it's getting later now. But in any event, um, I just wanted to show you specifically on the MAE and the MFEs and whatnot and how the spreadsheet and the journal come to life. This used to all be done uh, manually. Um, but then uh, when I started getting into bots a couple years back, uh, it just got too much to be recording and I had to do everything a little bit more automated. But in any event, uh, I just picked out a day, June 2nd here, um, and this is just dumb, dummy data, not dummy data, but just, uh, data that comes in, uh, I, I'm not, obviously not going to record it or save it because it's already in here, but, um, this is how it comes in from Ninja. Um, we go to trade performance, and then you pull it out. Um, there, there's certain procedures what you have to do. You pull up your account and things like that and export it the normal way. But this is how it comes. Um, this one here is our SKU. I have it kind of shaded. Um, this is called the strategy or the label that comes within the you could do the ATM um, um, label. Or if it's a strategy, you put in the label, but they export it as a strategy. But anyway, uh, this SKU consists of a two-digit number starting at 200 everybody gets 200 and starting at 200 and just going up to 201 and then it, depending on the market so you could do you know 200 GC 200 CL 200 so on uh, and so just use them all up so you could obviously have endless uh, and then the particular market and it has to be in this format you know a dot the market a dot and then your email address and the email address is the one that just separates it I've obviously not shown it for here uh, but that's what separates uh, and makes it a, a unique identifier. Um, the account number, these are just all SIM numbers that I have for different things. That doesn't really matter. Um, it doesn't matter what account it is. Uh, market. So this is everything that comes out of Ninja. So then from Ninja, uh, I guess, guess I can close that off. Let me just close it down and get it out of here. Okay, so this is this is the spreadsheet. Here's my index. Um, you can see obviously just a bunch of numbers, bunch of people, a um, bunch of uh, you know recording. So like if, for instance, if you need to know what 200 represents or 201 represents, you'd have to go look it up because this is more like the legend. So this is um, uh, the source code or the SKU, and that's the the charts, and then the uh, uh, indicator, you know, the instrument, and then the name. And then this is all the settings and you know what makes that happen and, and then the data behind it. So I'm going to show you just how we import it here. I'm going to go to the review tab. First of all, let me clear this out. So clear all that data out of here. So um, that data that you just saw. So what we would do is we would go to this review, go hit my little, again, this started back in seven, so I still have that capability, but um, right now I'm just doing eight. I want to verify the time zone because everybody has to be uh, unique on New York time frame. Um, so it just verifies it. There's a little conversion if, if it's not, but um, I just need to know that. So I verified it. And then it's going to say where to pick the file. Here's that, dum that demo dummy data that I just pulled in. So this is the data that comes from Ninja. And you can see down here, this is going to percolate here for a minute. Um, I suppose I could pause it for a second, but it's done. And then it's going to pull in here. Now this is basically the same uh format that you just saw um you know directly from ninja uh, interesting how i'm responding okay well here it comes uh, so it's pulling it in it's doing some calculations etc so this is uh um all the all the info from from ninja pulling into the columns and it separates it and blah blah blah. and there's just some math behind the scenes and what it does but needless to say if we go to the to the uh, dashboard um well, this is everything. This is everything I have in here. You can see I keep the the emails uh, off of here, um, but there's just a lot of data. So we're gonna go to the review data that I just imported. Now, this is that was the regular source data. So here's just the review that we just imported, and we want to review it before I actually export it. So for for this case, I'm gonna just kind of narrow some things down. So I just go to the New York session. Um, and then we could go to you know BZ, you can go to CL, you know whatever it doesn't matter. Uh, it pull, this is the day that I'm pulling in. 
Um, and these are the chart numbers. And if you want to know what they are, you got to go, you know, look at settings and it'll tell you what it is and what it represents and how to duplicate it if you want to duplicate it. But needless to say, what again I'm trying to, you know, narrow down on here is the MFE. It, this is the individual, uh, individual trades here. But I'm trying to narrow down on the MFE and the MAE. This is where I'm going with this. And this is where we need the extensions and how the extensions are going to come to play. Um, so when you come into the data, let's go back to that raw data real quick. You can see here, some are two. Uh, right here, here's one right there. Um, and there's probably more. So the some of them come in as two and don't know why, because they probably came in at the exact time and the... Um, the exact time, the exact second, whatever the case is, they come in as two, but we don't have it as two. We have to separate it. So if you go back to our raw data, you can see a little note here. We we break them down into individuals. So as it comes in, it just sees the two and just splits it. Um, so everything is a quantity of one, even though it's you know basically the same trade. It's by contracts. So when you look at the dashboard here and it says quantity, uh, that's for contracts. Um, but needless to say, um, this is how it comes in. So getting back to your question, um, as far as you know, splitting it up. We just need to be able to identify it based on those identifiers, and then we'll be able to um, match up the trade. And once we match up the trade, we'll be able to um, then find its extensions and go from there and match it up perfectly. So anyway, I hope this helps.